Well, as we come to our television mass, we ask the Lord to give us his strength and peace, and we ask the Lord to grant peace to the world. We live in a world that throughout its history has had war and crime, and we pray for our military, for their safety and security, as well as for our police and firefighters and all who assist us to keep peace in the world and lasting peace. But we pray for a time period that will come one day by God's mercy where there will be the end of war. And we pray that we may be instruments of God's peace to do the best that we can to stand for God. I'm in reading, in preparation for the Mass today, I was struck by today's a special feast in the life of the whole church, but also in the life of the people of Vietnam. Well, those who were martyred, whose feast day it is today, were over 130 or so who were executed, murdered, martyred for the faith. And over a period of time, about two or three centuries, over 130,000 Vietnamese Catholics were murdered for the faith up until the 19th century. Well, many more were murdered under the communist regime that currently exists. And we pray for religious freedom, and we pray for, as things are easing, we pray that there be greater freedom in the ex expression of faith as the church is strong. You know, the church through the blood of the martyrs, the church of those of yesterday praying for us, interceding for us before God's throne. Here at Catholic Television, there is the custom, as in really most every church in the world in November, where we highlight the significance of the dead who have gone before us and before the altar, uh, the names of individuals that have been submitted by you to be prayed for symbolically, their names before the, the the altar of the Lord. But in essence, they pray for us, and yet they want and need our prayers. And how to remember those who have gone before us, marked by the sign of faith, to ask God's mercy upon them, also to remember the souls in purgatory and the significance of that, and to know that the prayers of all God's people before God's throne, how they intercede to give us strength, and that we're not alone. We live in a time period of also, as the scripture talks about wars and rumors of wars that have been historic. And we pray for the victims of the bombing in Paris and, and in Mali and in Beirut and other places. And we ask for an end to terrorism. And we ask the good Lord to grant us his protection and peace because God gave us free will to choose his will or that of the actions of evil. And we choose God. We're imperfect. But in choosing God, we're choosing the opportunity of eternal life. But we're also choosing the grace of being God's ambassadors in the bruised and broken world so that we are raised up in knowing we're never alone. We have God at our side. And God is with us. No matter how dark the world may be, it, God's on his throne. And at the end of the story, there's tremendous victory because God will never be defeated. And as we live in the world, we want to live life to the fullest because if we just focus on evil actions, it pulls us down. We want to focus on that which is good, which is God, heavenly actions, to give us the hope that Christ sent into the world. He did not come with the message of doom and fear. He came with a message of hope because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And so we ask the Lord to continue to bless us, but also help us to focus on what is lasting and forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. As we present our petitions before the Lord, for an end to terrorism, violence, and to secure peace throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray to God in his mercy. We'll inspire more vocations to the religious life, the priesthood, to the diaconate, and lay ministries to build up the church. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or confined at home, are in the hospitals, nursing homes, Draw near to them, Lord, and enfold them in your loving care. We pray to the Lord, Lord. along with Mary, the mother of the church. 
We pray for those who have gone to their rest in the peace of the risen Lord, especially those names who have been placed near this altar and in our hearts. Let us invoke her aid. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Loving Lord, hear our prayers, draw us closer to you, by and through the blood of your Son and that of the martyrs, renew us in faith, keep us close in your love, and by the gifts of the Spirit, lift us up, that we may do your will, Father, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.